Hello yogis, welcome back to another yoga practice. My name is Naomi and in today's practice we are going to do yoga for highly sensitives. So whether you are highly sensitive or not, you can do this practice. If you don't know if you are a highly sensitive person, you can find some tests on the internet that you can check if you are. But if you are a highly sensitive person or you consider yourself highly sensitive, then don't get too attached to the label because it is just a way of describing certain personality traits. It can give you some insight, so if you're interested in that, you can always look that up. You just type in highly sensitive person tests or anything like that. And I have created a stronger practice today because I really want you to get into the body instead of really relaxing because sometimes getting really into the body can actually help you um, feel more relaxed after and more grounded. So if you are looking for something more calm today, then I have linked a video in the description below that you can do instead. And for this practice, I'm also going to use an essential oil called White Angelica. White Angelica is an essential oil that is really good for highly sensitive people, for protection and also to get more centered within yourself. So if you have that essential oil, you can use that. If you don't, then don't worry about it. You can do this practice without. And with that said, let's get started. So let's start applying your essential oil first. You can apply a few drops on your third eye. And if you like, you can also apply it on the back of your ears. Just rub it there. And then everything you have left, you can rub it behind the ears and maybe the jawline as well. And if you like, you can rub your hands together and you just inhale the essential oil for a few breaths. And you can also, if you like, and if you have a diffuser, put a few drops in your diffuser. Then set your essential oil aside and let's get started. You can start in child's pose. So come on your hands and on your knees. Knees a little bit wider than your mat. Big toes together and reach the arms out in front of you. Place your forehead on the floor and relax in child's pose. Make any adjustments if you need to. Make sure your Forehead is resting on the ground and if that is not possible for you then just place a blanket below your forehead and start to bring your focus to yourself. And feel your body. Where can you let go of any tension? And start deepening your breath. Inhale deeper. And exhale slower. Maybe you'd like to set an intention for this practice. Maybe you want to feel more centered or anything else. Take in one more deep breath in and out. And then slowly walk the hands up and you can come on your hands and knees. So we are starting with a cat cow posture. So you can let your belly drop, arch your back, look up, breathe in. On your out breath, you can round your spine, push your hands in the floor, bring your chin towards your chest. Then breathe in and look up again, arch your spine. And breathe out, round your spine. Breathe in one more time, arch your spine. 
Breathe out, round your spine. And then come back into a neutral position. From here, we are going to work on balance and activating your abs. So you can reach the left arm to the front and lift the right leg back. We're okay. When you are here, pull your navel back in and up. Do not arch too much in your lower back. Make sure your spine and neck is long. Keep looking at a point on your mat. Reach the left arm to the front as much as you can and reach the right leg back as much as you can. Keep your balance and breathe. This is a really nice way to activate your body. And breathe. On your inhale, can you reach your right leg and left arm a little bit higher? And on your exhale, you can set your knee and hands back down on the floor and switch to the other side. Reach the right arm forward and the left leg to the back. Also make sure to keep the left hip pointing down. Instead of opening up your left hip too much, make sure you keep it down. Create as much space and length in your body as you can. As if someone is holding on to your hand and your foot. Breathe in. Lift higher. And on your exhale, place your hand and knee back down on the floor. One cat cow. Breathe in, look up, arch your spine. Breathe out, round your spine. And then come back into a neutral position. From here, curl your toes and lift the knees off the floor and come into a plank pose. We are going to stay here for a few breaths. And I really like this plank pose because then you really activate your body. It can be quite a heavy posture, but you have to stay still and breathe. So activate your quads. Push the big toes into the floor. Your hands are pushing into the floor. Rotate your shoulders away from the ears and lift your navel back in and up. Really nice. Stay here one more breath, breathe in and out. And then push yourself into a downward facing dog. Lift the hips up and back. Feet are hip width apart, hands are shoulder width apart. And let your chest sink down to the floor. Take your time to find alignment in this downward facing dog. Do you rotate your shoulders away from the ears? Let your chest sink down to the floor. You might have a side bend in the knees or maybe you can push your heels towards the floor all the way. From here we are moving into a three-legged dog. So you can reach the right leg up and back. Toes are pointing down and really activate your right leg here. And check your right hip. Make sure it's facing down and you're not opening up the hip. Push your hands into the floor. Lift the left heel a little bit higher. Then bring your knee to your nose. Bring the weight on your hands and lift that knee up as high as you can in your chest. Breathe in. And on your out breath, step it in between your hands and slowly move into your high lunge. So find your balance and lift the arms up. So both hips are pointing forward. Your front knee is in line with your ankle. And relax your shoulders and neck. Maybe look up. Maybe interlace the fingers if you like. Maybe open up your chest and lean a little bit more to the back. And just breathe. 
Feel how hard your legs are working. Activate those legs. Can you stay calm in this posture? Can you stay calm in any heavy posture? Breathe in. On your out breath, move into twisted high lunge. Place the left hand below the shoulder, reach the right arm up to the sky. And make sure you're not lifting up the hips, keep them down. You might want to push your right knee or your or right leg into your belly. If your shoulder is not comfortable, you can always place your the right arm on your lower back if you like. Breathe it. And on your out breath, you can place the right hand on the inside of the right foot and you can spin the left heel back down on the floor. We are opening up in a extended side angle pose so you can reach the left arm up. And if this is too much for the hips, you might want to place the right elbow on your right leg. Maybe that is your option for extended side angle pose today. Breathe. So make sure you keep one straight line from your left big toes to the left fingertips. So open up your chest and maybe look up. Try to keep your breath calm. Where can you find a little bit more relaxation in this posture? One more time, breathe in. And on your out breath, you can place both hands back on the floor and step back into a plank pose. Stay here for a few breaths. We're going to move into a slow vinyasa. So this is going to be an easy vinyasa today. So bring the weight forward and lower down on the knees. Then arch your spine and place your chest in between your hands, forehead on the floor. Breathe in, lift up into a cobra. So your elbows are close to the ribs, toes are flat, look up. Shoulders down, breathe in. And on your out breath, curl your toes and push yourself back into downward facing dog. Take a deep breath in and out. Breathe in. And on your exhale, you can lift the left leg up, three legged dog. Toes are pointing down. Activate that left leg. Push the hands in the floor as if you are pushing yourself away from the floor. Breathe. Then breathe in. And on your out breath, you can bring the left knee to your nose. Bring the weight on the hands again. Lift it up as high as you can. Push your hands in the floor. And on your out breath, step your left foot in between your hands and slowly take your time to lift up in a high lunge. So the back knee might be a little bit bent. Otherwise, keep it straight. The left hip is a little bit inwards, the right hip forward. Look up, maybe interlace the fingers, maybe lean more to the back, open your chest. Keep sinking into those hips. Are your legs strong? Breathe in. On your out breath, place the right hand on the floor, under the right shoulder and lift the left arm up for a twisted high lunge. If you want, you can always lower down the right knee on the floor. Make sure the right leg is active and keep those hips down. And maybe push your left leg in your belly. 
Breathe in. And on your out breath, you can place the left hand on the inside of your left leg and spin the right heel on the floor. Open up into a extended side angle pose. If this is too much, place your left elbow on your left leg and then you're here. If you like, you can also grab a block. You can support your left hand on a block. And make sure you have that straight line from your toes to your fingertips. Breathe. Breathe in. On your out breath, place the hands back down on the floor. Step back into plank pose. Be strong here. Breathe in. On your out breath, bring the weight forward. Then lower down on the knees and bring your chest in between your hands, forehead on the floor. Breathe in, lift up, cobra. And breathe out, curl your toes, and push yourself back into your downward facing dog. One more deep breath in here, and out. Then place your knees back on the floor. Okay, moving on to thread the needle. So you can reach the right arm up to the sky and then reach the right arm all the way through. Place your right shoulder and your head on the floor. And maybe place the left hand on your mats or rest your left arm on your lower back and maybe open up your chest a little bit more. This is a really nice stretch for your shoulder, your upper back, your neck as well. It's also a nice option to reach the left arm above your head. Do whatever feels comfortable. And slowly breathe in. And then place your left hand on the floor and followed by the right. And then switch to the other side. Breathe in, lift the left arm up, open up your chest. And on your out breath, reach the left arm all the way through the right and place your shoulder and your head on the floor again. So options with your right hand or on the mat or on your lower back or reach it out above your head. Open up your chest. Maybe look up under your arm. Just a few breaths. And slowly breathe in. On your out breath, push the right hand in the floor and place your left hand back on the floor. Okay, from here you can come sit down on your sit bones. Moving into our last posture. We are going to work a little bit on the hips. So this is called square pose. It's quite a heavy posture for quite some people. So I have some options. Your first option is to place the left foot in and then the right foot in front. And then walk the hands forward and then fall down as far as you can. If you have more space, you can place the left leg on top of the right. When you do this, you want your left ankle a little bit to the outside of the right knee. So it's not completely in. Make sure the ankle is on the outside of your knee. This is square and then maybe walk the hands forward and fall down. Or if this is a little bit too much, then you can also place the calves together. And then you have still that square shape in your legs and then reach the arms forward. So three options here. Choose one and then breathe in, sit up straight. And on your out breath, walk the hands forward and down and stay here 
for about one minute. And you will feel one hip more than the other. So there's a deep stretch in, I think, the left for everyone in this posture right now. Depends on which leg is in front. So this is a great moment to find stillness. To focus completely on yourself. You are centered and calm. And inhale and exhale, slowly walk the hands back up and switch the legs. So the right leg is in, left leg is in front or for square, place the right leg on top of the left leg. Sit up straight, breathe in and on your out breath, walk the hands forward and down. Stay here for about a minute. You might feel that the other side feels more intense or maybe less or maybe just as equal. Try to relax even more on this side. And send your breath to the sensations in your hips. Find stillness in this posture. And slowly breathe in and on your out breath walk the hands back up. You can stretch the legs out in front of you and then just shake them out, maybe up and down and you're finished. So yogis, I hope you enjoyed this yoga practice for highly sensitives and let me know in the comments if you liked it. Give this video a thumbs up as well. And if you want a little bit more, then make sure you check out the video that I linked in the description below for a more calming practice. And I will see you in our next practice. So you can place your hands together, breathe in and breathe out. Namaste.